Hi everyone, today is day seven of our 44 Days to Bloom Point 3 series. I am really excited to be gaming and trying out Modern Warfare 2 yet again. We're just trying to level up some more guns. We already maxed out the M4, and now we are maxing out the Pastock 762. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see if we can have some good games. This is the first game of the day, so it could be a warm up. Maybe we'll have some good rounds. Maybe it'll be complete shit, but we will see. That's the thing with me. I feel like I either have a good game or a shit game, and there's no in between. I'm either good or I'm bad. <laughs> but it's okay. Hopefully, by gaming every single day for the next 44 days, I will get more comfortable with using the PC and keyboard and have better accuracy. Dang it. See, that's what I need to work on is also having better decision making. Like, I often will go through and there'll be two people there and instead of going for the first person that is clearly attacking me, I go for the person that doesn't even notice that I'm a threat. And so I gotta be better at like taking my time and actually making clear, concise decisions on who I pick to shoot at and aim at. Cause you know, when you're gaming, they sometimes go together. Oh man, I knew I should've just sat down waiting. Um, I've been having a really great time with my 44 days to bloom. I just have been having so much fun just creating and feeling, not feeling like I'm forced to create, like I feel like my break and taking time off for that good month really helped me, I don't know, I have a refresh enjoyment for the things that I make, um, I don't know, I felt like beforehand I was always kind of forcing myself to create content because I felt like that's what you have to do. Um, I wanted to do my 44 days, you gotta finish and checking off the things off your list. Um, but it kind of loses the, the enjoyment of it when you feel like you have to do something. So I've been more lenient with myself, like if I don't feel like creating that day, um, or creating, for example, a skit for that day, then I will just put an X on my habit tracker. And that was something that was really hard for me to feel comfortable doing, I always wanted to just check off my habit tracker, always have a check for every single thing, not mess up. And it's just unrealistic for humans, you know? Stuff comes up. Um, like for example, this 44 days, I had the goal to go live every single day and work out every single day. Um, but unfortunately, that has not been able to happen. Um, I've been able to go live about twice a week and that's about it so far. Um, so that means I have to take time to adjust my routine and my schedule, adjust my expectations, and figure out if I can create a routine that will work for me. So maybe it means I have to wake up an hour earlier in the morning because I know I'm more productive in the morning so I can get my stream done and achieve that goal of going live every single day. I don't know, I think I can do this. I know I can, I just, I just gotta keep believing in myself and keep reflecting and taking time to reevaluate where I'm going, reevaluate my goals. Um, I don't know. I always have the idea of setting like very high lofty goals and then I get disappointed when me human can't achieve superhuman things, you know? Oh! But that's okay. The only way to get better and make progress is to constantly reflect and be eager to understand where you fall short, understand why you may be falling short, understand that you're human and you're not just falling short, you're just human. And it's okay, you can't do everything you want to do. I don't know, I'm learning a lot and I'm like very grateful to have the different people in my life that encourage me to create and make and do the things that I like doing, um, as well as encourage me to keep going and 
pretty hard on myself. And so, you know, I have Anthony who constantly reassures me and tells me when I'm being unrealistic with my expectations or um, when I start to get hard on myself because I can't do everything I want to do. Um, and so it's very helpful to find people in your life that help motivate and encourage you to grow, but also hold you accountable and tell you when you need to slow down. Um, so he's encouraged me to just take it easy and stop putting so much on myself and just keep creating and enjoying the things I create, but also not being so mean to myself when I can't do all the things I set out to do. I don't know, it's been very eye-opening to me. I didn't realize I did that, or I would just have super lofty goals that seem very unreachable. Like I would go from zero to a hundred so quickly. And that's just because I love investing and jumping into things and immersing myself in what I do. Um, like when I see him into something and interest, I'm like I go all in. And that is something beautiful, but it's also it can be a curse. Um, because I dive right in head first and sometimes I don't check to see if I have a life vest. <laughs> um, but I've met different people who have become my life vest and who have helped encourage me so, so much. And that's just so grateful. Um, and as I continue creating and making... <sighs> I've got to get better at the long distance. Um, but as I keep creating and making, I'll just figure out what works out for me and what I can do and manage with my... Oh. Damn it. <laughs> um, but we're gonna do we're gonna keep doing it guys. I, I'm just gonna keep on growing, um, keep on changing and fixing my mindset and working on trying to become the best me and Enjoy life, enjoy myself, enjoy all things as I am now. And hopefully things will just keep getting better with that mindset. You'll keep finding the joy as you seek it. Um, We've taken the lead. Hmm. Where they're at? Fuck you! He was pre-firing around the corner. <laughs> um. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm going to be an art teacher. So that will be fun. Ah! Oh, scared me. Hmm. Oh, damn it. Where am I at? I'm at 10 kills. I had a good start and then I just kind of went downhill. So let's pick it up. How do you know I was there? Do they have I 
UAV or something? He just knew I was right in that corner. Kills. <laughs> but I'm excited to be an art teacher tomorrow. We'll see how we do with that. We'll see how the kids are. Um, I love art. I love everything. Like I love music and art and um, creativity and creating and making. Um, I think it's all very beautiful and I wish kids had more access to it and had more, I don't know have the ability to enjoy it and create and make. I finally unlocked the stem! Yes! Um, sorry. <laughs> but I, I, I really think kids have so much potential that I feel like they're not able to overcome because of the amount of restrictions that they have within the school system. Um, you know, it's hard. Oh, what in the world? I thought I unlocked it. I unlocked a level 29. Is I not a 29? I'm at 28. Darn it, I'm almost there. Um, but like, I don't know. They're, they're so bombarded with homework and tests and all of these expectations that they're not really given the opportunity to be kids. School is just a system to get children to be ready for the workforce. That's why they have a 9 to 5. That's why they have to take homework home just so just in case if they begin in the workforce if they have to take work home they're comfortable and able to do that it's a really terrible system um, but it's meant to mean well it can mean well I feel like school can be really incredibly beautiful um, if we actually paid attention to science and child development and paid attention what is good for the whole child um, instead of just focusing in on academics um, oftentimes kids get left behind um, because all they focus in on is math and reading and science um, not even science anymore really science became a backdrop it's just math and fuck me Kids really have so much potential, and I wish you'd really invest in them. Invest in their dreams and their goals. Invest in their development. Fuck's sake, it's so annoying. Fuck. That was rough. Um. Like, for example, kids deserve outdoor education. Kids deserve to have art every single day. Kids deserve to have music every single day. Kids deserve to have physical activity every single day. But guess what? It doesn't happen because all we care about is teaching to the test. Forgot which one it is. Is it me? What is melee? V. Um, kids shouldn't have homework. That's another thing that science explains. Like, it really is not beneficial whatsoever. But we do it because um, there's just not enough time to teach them to the test to pass the curriculum standardized test that they have to take. Um, you know, with No Child Left Behind, it created standardized testing to make sure kids could, they wouldn't get left behind, that they would be, make sure that they are fall, not falling through the cracks and make sure that they are actually being taught in schools. Um, however, what has ended up happening is change and become so forced down on the teachers by admin and 
admin has pressure from other higher part, like their superintendents. But it's just a system where it's forcing these kids to just teach, teach, learn, 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 test, 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 only on core subjects like math and reading and writing. And because it's so pressure on the teacher, um, what ends up happening is the kids don't have time to learn social studies. They don't have time to learn science. Um, they Now science and social studies have switched off every other unit. So they'll do a social studies unit and then they'll do a science unit. Um, and it's, I don't know, I, I think it's unfortunate. Um, you know, like how important it is for kids to have outdoor education, how important it is for kids to go outdoors and explore and learn with nature. And um, every kid has a different style of learning and different interests. Like, I don't know, I feel like we could do so much with our education system if we actually invested in it. And that's what's so unfortunate is like so many good teachers would like to do all of these things, but they have to pay for it with their own money and they're just trying to make it too. Um, Did I get him? <clears throat> oh shit! How do you get rid of that fucking bastard with his fucking thing? His shield. I've had, like, I've tried to kill him at least three or four times. I've not been able to because of the fucking. <laughs> that was a good one. It's so annoying. He just sits behind it. Post melon. Mr. Post melon. I feel like he doesn't. Oh. No! I missed! No! I missed again! <laughs> <laughs> ah. <coughs> All right, let's go. Our score. We're at ten. All right, come on. Enemy UAV overhead. Hostiles launched a cruise missile. What the fuck do you kill the dude? It's so annoying. I can't get him. It's Post Milan. Post Milan. I can't kill you, Post Milan, cause of your fucking shield. Your fucking shield. <laughs> oh man. Bangs boy Jason just got me. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Thor's big hammer. I need to get like one of those throwing knives because that would have been really helpful. But I probably wouldn't have used it. He was behind me. Enemy UAV active. Oh, my Aw, oh, we lost. I got 15 Radio kills that time. <laughs> That's a fun game. I enjoyed that. I, I really like Modern Warfare. I tried Warzone 2.0 and it was hard. I couldn't really figure it out. I'll give it a try. We'll see if I can get better with it within the next few days, but... I don't know. I had a rough time with it. I really haven't been enjoying Modern Warfare, though. Look, Post Milan got 29 kills. That was probably half of those. <laughs> Oh, thank you all. We're almost there to the STEM shot. Just a little bit more. <laughs> I feel like I've been working at this, the STEM shot for a very long time. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out and watching me game. If you haven't hit that follow or that subscribe button on YouTube, um, follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitch, TikTok, Facebook. It's all low tied with three eyes. Um, we will see you guys tomorrow, but thanks so much for hanging out. Bye, guys.